I've come up with my latest outreach idea. It's going to be called Sex Industry Workers for Christ. And what it, and the reason we name it that is so it does sound controversial to attract sex industry workers. But the purpose of it is to basically make the word of Jesus more accessible to people who work in the sex industry. So exotic dancers, out film stars, survival sex workers, sex workers. Um, because right now there's a battle between the church and the sex industry and the church is very much against sex industry workers and they don't invite them to church. And when sex industry workers do go to church and they're found out to be who they are, they're ostracized, they're marginalized, they're humiliated, they're harassed, they're um, victimized. So the church treats them unless you want to help to get out of that lifestyle, you know, you have no place in our church, we don't want you here. And so to challenge that, that's why I invented this outreach and it's going to start hopefully November 1st. I got a pastor who's overseeing it and I got a church called The River, which is a street church in the downtown east side. And basically we're going to provide Bible studies for people who work in the sex industry. People who want to believe in Jesus, who already do, not we don't go force it on people. And we'll invite them, they'll come and they can practice the you know, like Bible studies. We'll have a peer support group for them to talk about issues in the sex industry that are bothering them, what they can do for change. We will have an outreach component where we'll go out into the downtown east side and reach out to survival sex workers and provide them with food and counseling and help them in any way we can. And we'll have a social justice component where, as a church, we will advocate on behalf of social justice issues that affect sex industry workers' lives, like Canada's Missing Married Women. Um, what I've seen in Canada, as far as the church has gone done, is that they've been really big for human trafficking, which is a real major issue, but they haven't done anything to bring attention to 1,500 missing murdered survival sex workers in Canada. And so that needs, that needs to be done, like someone's got to get up and do that. And so it starts November 1st, I'm quite excited about it, and we're going to be one of its own kind, and our mentality is basically come as you are, and you don't have to quit your job to join us, and our belief is that if Jesus has an issue with your occupation, he'll tell you, it's his job to tell you, we're not going to tell you, and we're going to love you for who you are, and our goal is just to show love and compassion and make God's word more accessible to you.